hello guys, welcome to episode 26 of the Gone for a Burton Save, I'm the Custard Prophet. So I've only played three games since you were last with us. As you can see, we're coming back for the Wolves game in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. But we played Huddersfield in the, in the first league game away, and they were pretty much third in the league. And we absolutely smashed them 3-0, carrying on from the 5-0 thrashing of Middlesbrough. All looking very, very good. Um, yeah, and then this happened. <laughs> the yeah, the one 0 loss against Leeds, very tight game. Probably, I think we deserved something out of that. And funnily enough, the game against Blackburn, we hit the bar three times, two clear cut opportunities, and didn't score a goal. They had, I think, one clear cut clear cut opportunity. And scored a load of goals from outside the box. So it's pretty much what we've been doing to other teams they did to us. So, you know, I can I can respect that. In other news, we have finished our stadium expansion. And as you can see, all the youth recruitment's up to fairly basic. Excellent. So the stadium expansion has now put us up to nine and a half thousand um, capacity with about four and a half thousand seats, which is which is fantastic. So what was quite good, our first home game after that was the game against uh, Huddersfield. Anyway, I can't see it, but we had almost a full stadium. I bet it's there somewhere, I just can't see it. We had almost a full stadium, which was utterly fantastic. So today we are playing Wolves, and I imagine we should be beating that attendance against Huddersfield. in the Car Actually, no, it's the Carabao Cup. Probably not then. So let's see how we do. So the, the players have been getting progressively more and more annoyed, the ones who are not playing, and, and I wonder how much that's actually affecting the team. But this is what we go with. We've got uh, Oberfemi up top because Marvin Sordell is missing many an opportunity. Um, De Silva's back in at left back. And I think everything else is pretty much the same. So let's let's take on the Wolves. I think there is a real opportunity of getting a win here. Right. I didn't do a team talk. Oops, let's shout at them instead. I think this might be nice. This must be our first game against Wolves in this series. Nothing happening so far, but we're going in with the exact same approach. We're going to try and press them into making mistakes and then use the speed down both flanks so Fernandez is back in that's probably should have said that so he's getting his first game back <coughs> oh, ball through ooh, oh, ooh. right need to need to defend better than that demand more oh, and I'm happy for it to be fairly quiet oh, there's just no no response at, at all to anyone shouting oh here goes Fernandez <coughs> Barlaza 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 Quinn Alan. Ooh, that's a bad ball, Alan. It's a, it's a, it's a lovely ball for them, but come on. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, that was deserved. Kakuta. Lovely name. Oh, we have we have done nothing so far. I'm in possession again. We have got good, good possession but not doing anything with it. Just wonder whether going to the two up top might be a, a way out of this. Just how effective is Mr. Barlaze have been? I don't think the, the wingers have been particularly effective, which is <coughs> unlike them. Mm. I'm, I'm going to do this. <coughs> this is a I'm going to take Alan off. I'm going to put Lucas on. Which is an interesting move in itself, but I always feel I can trust him to do something. Ooh, nice, nice free kick from Fernandez. Oh, look at that big TV. Honestly, that big TV, that is certainly <laughs> unlikely. So, 
That wasn't there before, was it? We never had a massive TV before. I'm sure we didn't. I'm going to have to go back and have a look at that. Right, come on guys, we've not scored in two games, two and a half games. We're not creating chances. I think maybe we're going to go down the inside forward route now. Try and push the wingers on a bit. Put them on attack. And see whether that does something different. We'll go attacking. Phil doing this is all it's going to do is invite us into making mistakes. Which isn't what I want really. Oh yeah, nicely done. Right, Quinn. He's still getting games and he's still annoyed with life in general. Oh, they were risking a bit there. Lovely ball out to Adams, the Dharma. Oh, we're getting into the into the right places, but we're not getting the shots away. I think we're going to be going shoot on sight. I think at this point, over Femi. Fernandez, I just wonder whether he's not fully fully back with us yet. And do we go Do we do this? Do we take away the defensive player? Have a deep line playing playmaker? And more of an attacking playmate, and that's just crazy. But it should offer us a little more creativity in midfield. Oh, come on, guys. Just really not seen anything. Oh. Come on. It's the time. Not when they're playing balls like that. I think this is it. Yeah. Had the possession. <sighs> That's a tackle. What are you doing? Up the field, you tits. Uh. <sighs> well, disappointing. But it's the Carling Cup, Carabao Cup, the Worthington Cup, whatever. It is the Cup, so we're not too worried about that. Um, in the, what's more worrying is the run of three games losing without a win and Murray Wallace out of one to two days so that's not great schedule wise yeah it's not great is it suddenly gone from this to that how does that work we will probably be coming round in around sort of end of November, start of December. See whether we can pick our form up. But yeah, yeah, we're still second in the championship somehow. But there we go. I mean, we've given ourselves a good chance of avoiding relegation, if nothing else. Okay, guys. Well, short episode today, but thank you very much for uh, having a watch, and hopefully we'll get a win next time. Um, if you enjoyed that, hit the subscribe button, like it if you if you like. If you don't like, like it anyway. And yeah, we'll see you see you next time. Uh cheers. Bye.